to cut down on greenhouse gas emissions by creating a new kind of alternative meat. It sounds like magic, a trick perhaps, creating meat out of thin air. Air protein. It says it takes CO2 from the air to make food and that it doesn't hurt the environment at all. We're making meat from air. How do you turn air into food? We make air meat. So what is that growth process like in, in terms of like getting it from air to like a full-size steak, for example? Well, it all starts with the ingredients. We're making that from elements of the air. And we are defining ours as meat because we're recreating that experience. That's what's important to us. Recreating that experience that you have when you sit down to, to bite into a juicy steak. We want to make this something that's not really a choice. We need to innovate on our technology. You know, right. obviously like Anna Stafford, you know, Lisa Dockman to talk about cow flatulence, but what's gonna happen when we have 10 billion people? It takes two years to, to grow a steak. And the technology that we use, which is a cow, has the same greenhouse gas footprint as a car. It was actually originally thought up by scientists at NASA who were trying to think about how to feed astronauts on long space journeys. Wait, it sounds thing. ridiculous, but it literally is but an it, issue. But it actually is an issue when it comes to contributing to methane. Right. But that doesn't mean you end cows. It means that we need... <laughs> Gotcha. What it means is that we need to innovate and change yes. our our grain, uh, our our cow grain from which you know they feed in, in these troughs. Yep. That we need to uh, really take a look at regenerative agriculture. Like these are our solutions. Right. These are our solutions.